a low here at wallops of 76 degrees which is about six degrees above normal for this time of year here at wallops we did have the most precipitation yesterday at 1.34 inches with a um, uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms that popped up over the region and also into this morning uh, the rest of the uh, region seeing uh, a trace to uh, almost a half an inch baltimore and washington dc were uh, remain dry uh, yesterday currently across the region we do have some showers moving through the area heavier rain being reported down the tidewater region here at wallops as of 9 a.m we were cloudy but we have uh, showers uh, starting to move through the area once again as of uh, 10 a.m Upper air sounding from this morning showing southerly winds at 5 knots and then as we go up through the column the winds are actually fairly benign as we go up through the uh, the atmosphere our wind max right now at 27 knots at the 20,000 foot level freezing level this morning was at 13,400 feet. Current surface analysis depicting a uh, frontal boundary that is slowly moving through the region this morning and continue to do so throughout the remainder of the day and will be providing us with some showers and thunderstorms. Could see some potentially heavy rain at times, uh, especially during the early portions of this afternoon as that front uh, begins to move overhead and then north of the area. We'll start to see those showers begin to taper off later this afternoon. Should have a brief reprieve as we go into the evening time frame before we start to see some possible scattered showers during the overnight hours. Looking at the current radar imagery from this morning, and again, we do have some uh, shower activity moving through the region, some heavy rainfall as well moving through the area. We did have some lightning strikes well off to our, our southwest uh, with the uh, heavier rainfall that was moving through the area, but those uh, storms have uh, uh, fallen apart a bit. Still seeing some moderate rainfall out of them, and we're still running about a 35% chance of a thunderstorm as we go to the noontime hour, and then chances will increase to about 65% uh, between noon and 5 p.m. this afternoon. So looking at our planner for today, that front will be moving through the area with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then during the overnight tonight with that front north of the area, still have some impulses running, uh, moving through the area, which could just trigger a, uh, a scattered shower, maybe even a thunderstorm as well. But we're only running about a 15% chance of a thunderstorm during the overnight hours, most likely going to be just some widely scattered shower activity going through the overnight hours. As we head into tomorrow morning, uh, not as widespread as what this model chart is showing, but still expecting that we do see the chance for some scattered showers and possibly a thunderstorm. That will continue throughout tomorrow afternoon as well. This is predominantly what we're going to be looking at through the remainder of the week as the area will be remaining between a uh, strong Bermuda high pressure system off the eastern seaboard and an upper level trough that's digging into the central United States. And we'll see some that energy uh, rounding the base of that trough and being thrown over our area, which could trigger some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And pretty much the timing these is going to be quite difficult, but the chances will be there as we'll be in that deep south-southwesterly flow moving across our area. Much of the same on Wednesday. And then as we uh, look at the uh, next 24 hours, again, rain uh, likely uh, from now through 4 p.m., uh, with a chance of showers and thunderstorms, about a 35% chance till about noon, uh, noon today, and then afternoon we'll see uh, from 12 to 5 p.m. a 65% chance of thunderstorms with the potential for some heavy rain as well. Winds have been picking up a little bit more than forecasted this uh, earlier this morning. We're having east south easterly wind right now at 11 to 16 knots, gusting to 24. May even see some gusts up around 25 knots uh, later this morning. Those winds should diminish just a tad as we head into the early afternoon time frame. East south usually 10 to 15 knots, gusting to 23 knots. Our max seems to have already been met today, about 75 degrees, and temperatures should be hovering in the lower to mid 70s through the remainder of the day. After 5 p.m., we well, should see just the, some, the chance for some lingering scattered showers, and that'll carry through about 9 p.m. this evening. Well, we should see uh, dry conditions until about 2 a.m. where we'll start to introduce another chance for some scattered showers moving through the area and about a 15% chance of thunderstorms and that'll carry through to about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning with light south to southeasterly winds. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. As we go into Tuesday, it will be mostly cloudy to overcast with a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially during the evening. We'll have a high of 85 degrees Tuesday night, just a chance for some scattered showers and just a slight chance of a thunderstorm with a low of 75 degrees. And then Wednesday, uh, much the same, although we should see a little bit more uh, peaks of sunshine. Uh, partly sunny, warm, and humid, and breezy. You could see the potential for some 25 knot gusts for us on Wednesday. We'll have a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm with a high of 88 degrees. Looking at the next seven days, again, uh, chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue through the remainder of this week. Friday actually looks to be, uh, can't rule out the chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but chances look to be less than what we're experiencing uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll have a high of 86 degrees under partly sunny skies, with just a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Saturday, uh, we'll have some more energy rotating through the region. We'll have a, a slightly better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Saturday. We'll get up to a high of 85 degrees. And then Sunday, right now with the um, differences in model trends, still keeping it uh, uh, partly sunny for our day on Sunday, but still cannot rule out the chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm as we'll still be remaining in that south to southwesterly flow with some upper level energy rotating through the region. Let it conclude the 10 a.m. weather briefing for today. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning at 8.15 for your daily operations weather briefing. Have a great day.